I went on a date with a banker the other day, but you know, she never called me back. Apparently there was no interest. My name is Victor Ashley at Skyline Properties. I'm a real estate agent out of Seattle, Washington. You can reach me directly at 425-559-4590. Please like, subscribe, follow, and thank you for uh, following my channel. Uh, if you like, also, you could share this with anybody if this kind of makes sense. Uh, so the reason why I, I have this channel is so I have a resource and uh, some sort of place to meet uh, people where they're at, and hopefully you can meet me where I'm at. I'm a renter also, and I am in real estate. I've been in real estate now for two years, uh, coming in July, and I'm just putting together my 11th transaction. Um, so I kind of have an idea of what's going on in the real estate market, but at the same time, I see it from the perspective of a renter also. So I just wanted to take a quick moment and expand on a, um, a video I did yesterday on rents. Uh, so if you're ready for it, uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's go into the share. So I had this pulled up yesterday, and what I did was I did a zip code analysis like I do for my buy and sell. Um, but with the rents that I came up with in our four zip codes that we track in Linwood, that is uh, 98036, 37, uh, 43, and 87. So just so you have a general idea, it's in the Linwood core. I didn't want to just go down and just list a bunch of numbers because people usually forget about it. Uh, but what I did is I did the average rents for the Linwood core for the last 60 days of everything rented or available for rent in the area off of the MLS. Uh, so this includes uh, single family houses as well as townhouses and condos. Um, this does not include any kind of apartment complexes uh, because that's not available for purchase by the general public. Uh, but the reason why I use the MLS uh, for the rents is because this is also what's available to purchase. So when I did the uh, zip code uh, breakdown and everything like that, it was kind of interesting because I came up with almost the exact same house. So on the purchase side, uh, what was available was a 1700 square foot house with three beds, two and a half bath uh, for $716,000. On the rent side, what was available was a 1711 square foot house on average, uh, three beds and two baths. So almost the exact same house. Now, the price difference on the two was one was being rented for uh, $2740, and the other one was available for purchase for approximately $716. And I just uh, showed you my numbers, so I backed up my work. Now, it's kind of interesting, though, because when we looked at the rents, now you have an idea of what people can actually get on the market versus what they uh, my theoretically what is out there. So let's actually kind of go into that uh, real quick. But when I did the zip code analysis, and this is something that I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, is I went down and I found the average capita of what's available in the household income. So the average household income in each of these zip codes, I have them independently shown on the screen here, but they average to about $89,000 a year. So when we I went into my rent calculator at $89,000 a year uh, with low monthly recurring uh, bills, it said that you can afford between $1,800 and $2,400 in rent. Now, uh, when I got into our rent average, obviously it was just above our rent average at 27. Uh, so now you know exactly where that is. So this is where rents are starting to become unaffordable also. But on the other side of that, what I found out was uh, if you are, are using that $89,000 a year and you're trying to purchase and you're purchasing with an FHA uh, on a 30-year loan with today's rates with an average credit scenario, and again, everybody's credit scenario is completely different. So I'm only using this as an example. You theoretically would only be able to purchase a house for $300,000 with today's uh, interest rates. Now, when you go into the monthly payment, that's about $1,900. And that is where it becomes a point where it's better than renting. Uh, on the inverse, though, if you're to buy the average house in the area uh, that's available to purchase right now in that Linwood area, 
you would need to have a household income of approximately $205,000 a year, a $60,000 down payment, 30 year fixed mortgage with today's interest rates. And again, everybody's credit scenario is completely different and a low monthly rate, uh, mo low monthly bills. And that would put you at a purchase price of about $715,000. And that is right at our average of what's available. Now, when you go into the monthly payment though, of what it would actually cost you to buy that house, uh, it would cost you at least $45.50 a month to actually rent, uh, to actually buy that house on a mortgage after you are put $60,000 of your down payment down. So this is where we come into an issue with our price. Um, our price to purchase is different than our price to rent. So as you can tell, our average rents are $2,700 uh, in the Linwood area, but our average purchase price with an average mortgage right now is $4,500 a month. So that is, two thirds more to buy than to rent. And now that actually leads us to where we're actually at in the market is people are being priced out from their purchase point. So the only way it can change is if it you either the interest rates go down, which they're not going down anytime soon, or the housing levels are going down. Uh, the, the purchase prices are going down. Now, I can't tell you if this is a buyer's market or a seller's market directly, uh, because again, I'm just some guy on YouTube. I am a real estate agent in the Seattle market, and I do specialize in this area, but it's individually and it's very specific on each one. So I can't tell you if it's a seller's market or a buyer's market, but it sure as heck looks like a buyer's market right now. But the buyers that are available are not uh there's less buyers available, um, but the ones that are on, uh, actually in the market right now, they're having an issue because of the interest rates. So this is kind of where we're getting to that spot between, are you going to purchase and build equity, um, or you remain at a lower rate, but you're not, um, you didn't purchase, you're not building any equity at all. So everybody's financial situation is completely different. And that's the reason why I'm actually having this conversation because as a real estate agent, I'm priced out. I can't actually buy right now. So if there's, that's that's kind of hard to even hear as, as a real estate agent. I can't purchase the houses that I'm showing you. So I was having a conversation with my uh, buddy on the way in. He's like, Victor, why would we, why would you tell people that it's expensive to buy? It's because it's the truth, man. And that's the thing. I consult people every day. And that's the reason why I have this channel is so you have an idea of what's actually going on out there. And if you have anything directly that you want to know in the Seattle market, you know, just reach out to me or um, one of the people I recommend, and I'll be happy to hunt down the question and, uh, you know, get an answer for you. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach me at the number that I have in my description or an email. Um. And as always, uh, it was a pleasure working with you today, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.